Hi, honeys. It's Michelle. Happy Monday. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a video where it's a get ready with me and it's also a um, shopping haul. I went to Target last night and I was just so excited about what I got that I decided to share that with you today. Do you ever have that where you have, for whatever reason, you have a shopping experience and you're just so excited about what you got that you want to share it. So here I am today. So the first thing that I got was this makeup bag. So, so much stuff was on clearance, by the way, yesterday. I got this makeup bag and it was regularly $14.99 and I got it for $7.48. The reason I got it, I have all these makeup bags that are small, but now that I'm wearing more makeup, it's really not big enough for me. <laughs> So I decided to go ahead and get something a little bit bigger. And I just, I like the simplicity of this. It looks like it'd be easy to clean. I like that there's a little pocket in the front and then it, there's a bigger section in the middle. And are you ready? But wait, there's more. And it's got these little, little pockets here so that you can put things in there on their side if you want. And the inside is easy to clean too. I thought that was really cute. The brand is Sonia Kashuk. And I don't know how long. I, I think it's that time of year where they're getting rid of everything that is winter. And br they're going to start bringing in the spring and summer stuff. So if there's anything that you want from Target, this go right now. <laughs> everything was on sale. All of these. A lot of the makeup. A lot of clothes just so much stuff I'm going to be doing a nighttime drugstore makeup haul with products that I'm using for the first time or not makeup haul whoa nighttime skincare haul with products I'm using for the first time so there are products that Sorry, those are the maintenance guys outside. Apartment living is really fun, isn't it? Especially in a city, there's always stuff going on outside. If I were to wait for it to be quiet, I'd have to quit YouTube. Um, anyway, these are all products that are highly rated. And I don't have everything yet, but this is just what I got at Target last night. So there's the... Sh I'm sorry if I'm going like this. I'm reading it in the, the phone. It's Shea Moisture, Manuka Honey, and Yogurt Glow Getter Pressured Serum Moisturizer with Vitamin C. I'm pretty excited about this one. And then I got Versed Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. And it says Rose Water and Seaweed Extract. I think it smells like spearmint which I actually find quite pleasant. And I'll, I'll talk about the ins and outs of these products when I do that nighttime skincare video, but I just wanted to show you those. I always look at the travel size items when I um, go to any drugstore or Target or Walmart or anything. And Brad really likes this Method Man shower gel. And I found this one, it's Juniper and Sage aluminum free deodorant it's normally nine dollars for this little thing um, but it was on sale for 764 and since he's been doing a lot of business travel I got this for him for when he runs out of deodorant these next two items my parents sent me a gift card for Target uh, for Christmas and I hadn't even thought to go shopping for it yet but I did pick up well, I used the whole gift card, but really these two items probably about covered it, I would say. Yeah. When I showed you that video of me drying my hair, that was the cheapest hair dryer I could find on Amazon. I didn't buy it for my hair. When I bought that, it was for my paintings that I do. And I didn't realize that eventually I'd end up cutting so much of my hair off and now I blow dry my hair every time I wash it. So I wanted something that was a little bit better. I found 
blow drying my hair to be a very unpleasant experience. The hair dryer was really hot, really hot. I mean, I'd be dripping sweat the whole time I dried my hair. I'm thinking, well, that's great. I just got out of the shower. I feel like I need another one. And they didn't have any cooling settings or anything on it. So it was kind of just a hot mess, literally. And I timed it one time and it took about 20, it took, I think it was 20 minutes to dry my hair with it. And so I've been wanting a new hair dryer and I found this. This is normally $50 for this. Um, I got it on sale. It is now $35. And this is the Infinity Pro by Conair. It's the Ion Choice. And I think it's called like the Rainbow Hair Dryer or something. Very powerful, but yet a much quicker and more pleasant experience. I was actually thinking about doing a video just on the features of this and how to dry your hair with it. So I think I might do that. And then the other thing that I got was this silicone muffin pan. And this was $15. They're not cheap. But I don't know if you're familiar with these. It's a regular muffin pan, but then this pushes up. So it's a lot easier to get things out. And things are a lot less likely to stick to it. It even says on here not to use cooking spray. I have this thing every Saturday morning, I wake up wanting to go out to breakfast. I want bacon, I want eggs, I want it all. We don't wanna go spend the money to go out every Saturday. And so I found some recipes where you can make these really nice breakfasts in these. And then, <laughs> sorry, you can make really nice breakfasts, breakfasts, breakfasts in them and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do that because we always go um, to breakfast on Sundays on our way home from church figured this way we can have a nice breakfast on Saturday too. kind of break up the monotony because throughout the week breakfast I he doesn't eat breakfast and I do and my breakfast is always the same during the week I don't wear makeup every day by the way I think that's a really important part of skincare is giving your skin a chance to breathe. I usually will wear makeup three days a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then if I want to wear makeup a different day of the week, I'll just put it on my eyes and my lips, but nothing anywhere on my face. I want to let my skin breathe. So that's really important to me. Let me get my hair out of my face. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> I know that doesn't look very cute, but oh well. I have a couple different things that I do in the morning to my skin, depending on whether or not I'm wearing makeup. On the days that I'm wearing makeup, I usually wash my face in the shower with Toulon Gentle Milk Cleanser. It's this, um, it's a trio set, not a holiday gift set. Those are always crap. Like a, just a trio set that you can get that Toulon does. And it's got the milk cleanser, eye cream, and moisturizer all in one. I got it when we first moved here. I had gone through all of my skincare products before the move and was in dire need of <laughs> some moisturization. I don't have the face wash with me. It's still in the shower. Here's the eye cream. This is the Toulon Eye Renewal Therapy with Vitamin C, Peptides, and Alpha Hydroxy Acid. Just to give you an idea when I say I really like it, I'm almost all the way through it. So I genuinely like it and have been using it for quite a while. And then I also, this is the face cream that came with it. This is the Toulon Cellular Defense Face Moisturizer. And it says with vitamins A, C, and E, cucumber and chamomile. This was manufactured in Las Vegas. I think that's kind of funny that I moved to Vegas and my first Amazon purchase was made in Vegas. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. I can support a local company, but this also is 
almost done. It's got a very, very, very light fragrance. I don't think that there's actually fragrance in here though. Well, I don't have the ingredients on here, but I really like the trio, these two, and then the face wash. You can get them on the Toulon website. I think it's 45 or $46 for the trio. If you go on Amazon, if you can find somebody that sells it on there, I think Toulon even sells it themselves on there. But then, I think it was 35 So you save $10 if you get it there instead of on the website. So obviously that's the route I take. But I will put the links for this down in the description box. Now this Toulon brand is what I like to use on the days that I'm going to wear makeup. This is it's what I always put on under the makeup. So I put this on right when I got out of the shower and it's been sitting on my face. Um, so I guess we can just get started now. I, I like to put Vaseline Original uh, Lip Therapy on my lips when I get ready. It just feels nice. As always, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. So I've been watching that show on Netflix, uh, Unbelievable. And I do find it quite unbelievable. And I think it's based, have you guys seen it? I think it's based on a true story too, which is even more disturbing because I think that, <laughs> uh, this I don't wanna ruin any of it for you guys, but this storyline is really disturbing to me. But then if you are seeing it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, go ahead and watch it. But it is really, really dark. Like a lot of people think that show you is dark. I find this show to be even darker. Uh, so if you are not a fan of the dark or, you know, really dark, disturbing shows, don't watch it. What else? Oh, um, I joined a book club and this was the first book that we reviewed. It's called The Dry. By Jane Harper and it's a mystery book and it takes place in Australia oddly enough not far from where the fires are right now and so that's kind of disturbing you know while reading it to have that you know it's talking about this drought that's why the book is called the dry and then the whole time I'm reading it, I'm thinking, wow, and here, there is another one actually happening in Australia now. But it was a really good book. If you like mysteries, I seriously recommend it. I think I'm going to go pick up, there's a second book that the author wrote, and um, I think I'm going to go get it because the second one has the same detective in it and I really like him. By the way, I just used the Murmuru Butter Bronzer in Sunkissed Color uh, and this is by Physicians Formula. And I'm covering this up because there's this ugly sticker that CVS puts on their makeup and I hate it. I wish they would stop. I know, I know, I know, people are stealing. Why is my face so red right here? Is it red? Well, not really. Just, I guess the shadow, huh? Hmm. I don't know. And then I'm using the Orpha, or Ofra. <laughs> I'm using the Ofra highlighter in Star Island. I am going to be picking Mr. Brad up from the airport. He did a quick trip and he was only gone last night and then now he's coming home tonight. That was why I went to Target on my way home. It was on my way home from picking him up. I like to do this with my fingers. I'm not really sure why I just do. And then for my blush, I'm using the Milani 
Dolce Pink. Isn't that beautiful? I keep hearing about how great this stuff is, so I went and got some, and it really is great. She's got this nice, pretty look to it. Natural, not too dark or bright. So today is Monday when you're watching this video. That means that perhaps as you watch this, or sometime close to it anyway, I'm getting a procedure done on the cysts on my breasts. Cysts on my breasts. Gosh, what, what is it with some of these plural words? They just sound funny. And I'm using Extraordinary Translucent Powder by Siete? Siete? Kayate? I don't know. If you know, tell me, please. But that's what this is. And the point in pow the powders is if you use these concealers, it keeps it from... Um, it kind of sets it, and it keeps it from... sinking into your fine lines and making them look all ugly and stuff. Did I word that right? I don't know. This is the elf eyelid primer as far as my breast goes when the surgeon's office called me about the you know i was panicking about this whole cyst thing and when the surgeon's office called me to make the appointment that's when they told me that oh no there's nothing like dire going on it's just because of where Because of where this particular cyst is, they want a an actual surgeon to go in and, and, you know, drain the cyst. Especially since it had become infected. And this is the Pixie Eye Crayon in Rose Glow. I like to put it on the bottom of my eyes. That's what I'm doing today. Well, when you're watching it today. Is I'm going and I'm getting... Uh, the cyst drained. One of the two. The one that is in so much pain that uh, got infected, that's the one that I'm having drained today. And then the other one I'm going to do later. And if you're wondering why, um, I don't have insurance, so I have to pay for all this out of my pocket. Okay, that'll have to do. My least favorite part of makeup, eyebrows. Every time, I hate it. Um, okay, this is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil that I'm using here. And if you're wondering what these little colorful stickers are on these, um, this is my way of keeping track of when things expire. Dr. Dre, the dermatologist, she was talking about how if you're going to wear makeup, you really have to pay attention to the expiration date. And this is right after Jen Loves Reviews was talking about trying a new system of keeping track of the expiration date. And I thought, okay, okay, message received. So I've decided to partake in those festivities and start keeping track of it. So it does not matter what it is. If it is hit it as its expiration date, it will no longer be in my home. Okay. So there's two other things that I got last night at Target. I got this, and if you see a mark on there, it's because I swatched it last night. I couldn't help myself. This is the Classic Nude Physicians Formula Eyeshadow. And I wanted to try it. I've heard a lot of good things about Physicians Formula. 
eyeshadow, but I also thought it would be great for traveling. Just a nice little quartet to take with me. I don't know if I even mentioned this to you guys or not. I am going to see my mom and I'm excited. I'm going to be going to see her from Saturday to Wednesday. And I think that'll be really fun. Sorry about all the noises that my stomach is making. Is it just me or does eyeshadow primer bring out the wrinkles in your eyes? Like, I feel like it looks worse. Like, yeah, you can't see, you know, I'm so pale, you can't see as much of the veins through my skin, but I feel like it's making me look worse. I'm trying to be cute, you guys. I'm not trying to look like crap. Oh, well. Oh, you want to know something else kind of cool? That movie, or that book, uh, The Dry, that I was telling you I just read? I found out at the book club that Reese Witherspoon bought the rights to that movie. Like, to the book. So apparently they're going to be making it into a movie. And I just cannot wait to see it. And I wonder if she'll be in it. I like it when she buys the rights to books. Because then you know that the book really is good. Now granted, I had already read it at that point. So I already knew it was really good. But What do you guys think of this eyeshadow? It's like really pretty, isn't it? It's like pretty and natural. I like how it goes on too. It's really nice. And it only has one color that is shimmer. The other, well, I take that back. One is kind of shimmer, two are matte, and then one is shimmer. But I like that. I really do because I feel like when you have hooded eyes like I do, you don't want so much shimmer everywhere. I mean, not that it's ni not nice to have a little bit, but you don't want a lot of it. So then what I'm doing is I'm taking the darkest color that I used on my crease and I'm lining it down here with this tip of my brush. I'm sorry my face looks so dark over here. I just because there's no light over there and there's windows over there, but oh well. All right, so real quick here, let me set my face. I'm using the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with propolis and argan oil, and it's what I use every day. Because I love it. I was thinking about that. A lot of these influencers. Now, I'm a very small page and I don't get paid one penny for anything I do. The only time I've been paid, I guess you could consider it getting paid. On the two videos that I did a collaboration, um, I was sent the clothing for free. So I guess that's kind of a payment. I mean, I'll take free clothes as payment. I don't mind that at all. I know, and I know a lot of the bigger collaborators judge that. They feel that you should get paid a specific monetary amount also. But it's really easy to judge that when you're making so much money on YouTube. I'm not making anything. For me, just the chance to even work with these companies is exciting because it gives me a chance to learn how to work with them, how to talk to them, how to get everything figured out, how to make what they're wanting, um, how to really thoroughly investigate a company before I agree to working with them so that I already because to me if I don't know 100% that I'm going to like something or I don't haven't already tried it and know I like it I don't want to promote it so 
I've learned how to like really thoroughly do my homework on things to make sure that I think I will like it before I try it uh, for those collaboration videos. But with makeup, I've noticed so many of the people where every video they're doing totally different makeup brands and they every month the favorite go-to items are always totally different. I think they're all getting paid to do that. So how much am I really going to trust what they say? Whereas somebody who's not being paid or even somebody who, who does get paid on here, but maybe is constantly loving a certain item. That's another story. So if I tell you that I love this, you know, I really do. I've been talking about this for months now and every, every video you see me put makeup on, I'm always going back to that. I do have other ones. I just hate them. <laughs> This is the same liquid eyeliner I've been using. I'll admit, I didn't, I guess I paid for it. It was in a um, Ipsy bag. So I pay for the bag and then all these things come in it for free. But I really like this, genuinely. It's scone, insanely intense tattooed waterproof eyeliner in jet black. And it's my, my go-to thing here. And if you're wondering why I don't line my eyes all the way in, it's because I have really hooded eyes and I'm not getting any younger. I'm over 40 now. So I need to really be conscious of that and do my eye makeup in, in a way that is the most flattering to my eye shape. And so that's why I do it this way. It, if I were to line my eyes all the way in, it would, um, really weigh my eyes down. And I'm not trying to add any weight to these eyelids. <laughs> I also, that's also why I will never try those fake eyelashes, whether you just put them on yourself or you go down and get them put on every six weeks. I can't remember what they're called. I will never do that because I think it makes everybody's eyes look heavier and it makes people's eyes look tired, kind of squinty. And so on somebody like me who already has an eye bag problem, you know, my bags are packed, right? I, I don't want to add to that at all. <laughs> so that would be my piece of advice. If you are over 40 and you want to wear makeup and you want it to look nice, find out what your face shape is. Find out what your, what your eye shape is and look up the best ways to put makeup on for that face shape. So I have hooded eyes. And so somebody with hooded eyes has to be a little bit careful of <laughs> how they how they do their eyes. Now, look, when you're in your 20s or even your early 30s, you don't have to worry so much about it because when you're that young, you can just kind of be trendy and be cute and enjoy being young like that, right? But as you start aging, your face shape tends to kind of take shape more. There's a lot of changes that happen to our faces as we age. And so it's really important to make sure that you're doing the right application techniques for your face shape and eye shape. The one that I really recommend if you want to learn about how to apply things is Wayne Goss. He is a makeup artist and he is phenomenal. Now I'm going to put my Deca Scarlet lip liner on and this is uh, bah, 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 bah. where's the color bell i'm going to put this all over my lip and you'll see why in a second I 
It is always fun when I accidentally go outside of the line. I know that's like a in thing is really lining your lips and going outside of the lines, but I'm not 25 anymore. I'm not doing it. I think it looks kind of silly. <laughs> okay. And then the other thing I got last night at Target. I already said it that way. I can't help it. It sounds better than Target. I got All May Lip Vibes lipstick. And this is the color Skip the Gym. Now, because I put this lip liner on, and plus, I want to just show you what the color actually looks like. So, here's an example of the color, but without the shimmer. That's the color. So, it's a real light, kind of, almost like a lip gloss, but it's a bullet lipstick. And so, I wanted to line my lips and then put this over it. And there you go. <laughs> Boom. Lips are done. So then for the rest of the day, I'll just put this on. My lip liner will stay with the rest of my makeup at home. And this is my look for when I go to pick up Brad at the airport today. He's coming home today. Yay. Left last night, coming home tonight. I'm so happy. Would you look at that? I put my makeup back in here as I was using it. And it fits. <laughs> That's great. So I can take this with me when I go to see my mom. That was why I bought it. I figured between that and the flying I'm going to be doing soon, I wanted to have a makeup bag that actually fit my makeup, one that wasn't too small. And I have found it. So that is very exciting news. My mom and I are going to go watch Little Women. I think that'll be fun. Have you guys seen it? I hear it's really good. I'm excited to spend some time with my mom, though. It'll just be me and her together, so it'll be nice to get some girl time. Oh, good. There's no lines in my hair. <laughs> what, should I act like one of the influencers? <laughs> yeah nope don't do that silly right I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me video it was kind of a fun spur of the moment video to do it's always nice to do videos that aren't planned and just have fun with them right hi Marty I just saw him walk by on the screen in the corner why <laughs> Martin do you want to come say hello hey, come here Come say hi. He's so shy and yet he doesn't mind being on camera. Come here. Oh. You gonna say hello in a nice way? Oh, there's a big dog barking. Okay, I'm gonna gently put you down. Cause I don't want you to scratch me because that dog's probably freaking you out. Ever so gently. Okay. <laughs> I thought, oh crap. <laughs> I get scratched a lot by stuff like that. I get along so well with both of my cats. But if a sound startles them, they'll scratch me as they're jumping up. And I hate that. Anyway. Bye. <laughs> I never know how to say bye. I can do the video, but why do I have to say bye? Urgh.